Well, welcome to this video blog. I'm Robin Sharma. The first principle I want to share with you, and this video blog is called How to Create a World Class Day. In future blogs, I'm going to share um, more and more details about how to begin the day. Um, when I coach a CEO or world class performer, I have a, a morning protocol that I take them through that basically sets them up for a world class day. And um, so I'll be sharing a lot of those ideas in future vlog, uh, video blogs, but right now I want to offer you a first principle, which is this. The way you start your day determines the way you live your day. I, I love studying great performance. With a lot of the executives that I coach and a lot of the client organizations, one of the things that I see is the people who have high levels of energy, the people who are incredibly focused, the people who carry a smile and high levels of passion through their day all have one thing in common. They have a morning ritual or a morning protocol. And often it happens when the rest of the world is asleep. That they follow that just sets them up for the day. So I wanted to dive deep into just a few of the things that I would invite you to do and encourage you to do every morning so that you just have consistently strong days where you create great performance and have a lot of fun because ultimately what's the point of being great in business and leading without a title and you know delivering great results if you're not having any fun well the first thing is getting getting up early and in my books I often talk about the importance of getting up early you might not like it it'll take you 40 days to rewire your brain and rewire your physiology so that you have adopted this new habit. 40 days, I'm inviting you, encouraging, requesting you, challenging you, give yourself 40 days, get a little piece of paper. I know it sounds cheesy, but tape it to your bathroom mirror and every day for 40 days, check off, yes, I got up at five o'clock every day, do a V next to it with a little victory. I know it sounds cheesy, it works, it really works and do it for 40 days. Now, once you're up at five o'clock, the first week or two, you're gonna be saying, why did I listen to that Robin Sharma guy? I feel tired, I feel exhausted. That's just the process of change. Growth and change is never easy. Eventually, your body will adapt, you're, you'll, you'll rewire your, your neuro circuitry, you'll be able to get up at five o'clock. Here are some things I encourage you to do for the first 60 minutes to set you up for an amazing day and please do it because try it and I'm you, you will see that what I'm set talking about is so helpful. This is a, a game changing move. Get up and spend some time in silence where your eyes are closed and you visualize. Just see yourself living out a great day. See yourself being patient. See yourself being excellent. See yourself with boundless energy. See yourself seeing the best in other people because leading without a title in many ways is about seeing the best in people who have never caught a glimpse of their absolute best. What else can you do? Read. We live in a world where there's so much negativity. You want to block out the noise? Read the heroic literature. Read great autobiographies. Read things like Success Magazine. Read things like inspirational ideas of great entrepreneurs or great leaders. Listen to great audio books on tape. What else can you do when you get up? I'm going to show you this. My journal. It's just pages and pages. Sometimes I have collages of pictures. I have quotes. If you saw my journal, you would realize Robin is not perfect by any stretch. He's flawed because he's human, but he is committed to the, his mission of helping people and organizations around the world lead without a title. He's committed to being his absolute best. And this video blog is not about me. I'm just saying, write in a journal. You will get to know yourself. You will get to know your talents, your genius. Dump your frustrations into the journal so you don't take it out with your family members or, the, or your work colleague or your customers. Write in a journal about what you're learning from life. Write in a journal about your dreams so, because the more deliberate you can be and the more aware you can be about those dreams, the more you will actually be acutely focused on what's most important. Final thing I'd encourage you to do when you get up every morning, use affirmations. You might say, Robin, affirmations they sound cheesy what am I gonna do look in the mirror and say I love myself I love myself I love myself I'm a hard driving entrepreneur or I'm a hard driving business person and I want to win in my market space may I simply with great respect say that words have power and the words you use determine your internal emotional state 
before every great performance, the geniuses are not condemning themselves, they're not putting themselves down, they're not focusing on, ba on gossip, they're not criticizing, they understand the importance of good words. I call it a leadership vocabulary in my books and when I, in my presentations, but the key is really this. Every word you use has a consequence. Calling something a problem, saying I hate something, putting someone down, gossiping about someone, it affects your organizational culture and it affects your self-esteem and the way you see yourself. Leading without a title means to use the best words. Here's an exercise for you that I'll leave you with. Write down the 20 wor most disempowering words that you use so you get a, really a clear on those. And then write down the 20 best words you want to start using. But most importantly, start your day like a genius. Start your day like a gold medal athlete would because the way you start your day determines the way you begin your day. And when you start diving deep into spending that first hour doing only brilliant things, you will set yourself up for consistent success every single day. That's what I'd love to see you do. Keep leading without a title.